Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So, first things first, I want to quickly take a moment to thank everybody for your tremendous support and positivity and love in my last video. Um, I was honestly very overwhelmed with the comments and the feedback and I was really, really nervous to put that video up just because I did not want anything to be interpreted the wrong way, so I did my best and I feel like now looking back I can accept that I just basically explained the situation and I feel really good about it and it felt good to basically just give you guys a full explanation because my business my life you guys have just as much of a right to at least understand when relationships end whether it's professionally or privately no matter how long it takes I still think that you know it's only fair to share those types of things with you guys I'm very grateful and it really means the world to me that you guys were so kind so Anyway, moving on with the rest of the video. Today, I wanted to film a video basically just talking about my quarantine favorites because, I mean, it's like, it's no surprise. We are all still on lockdown. I don't know where you guys are, but in Los Angeles, our lockdown just got an extension until May 15th and it was supposed to be up at the end of April. I wanna to talk to you guys about what my favorites have been through quarantine, I'm spending a ton of time at home. Although I have Trell with me, there are some things that I like to do on my own time, so I wanted to share some of those things that I've been enjoying with him, that I've been enjoying solo, and yeah. All right, let's get into it. It is very random, so pepper yourselves. First things first that I would really like to talk about are dumbbells. So this particular dumbbell that I got was from Dick's Sporting Good, and I was really stressed about this and I made such a huge mistake because I spent like a hundred dollars on tens, twenties, and thirties. I believe that was the, yeah, tens, twenties, thirties. There's a reason I'm only holding one of these and um, that's because they didn't, they weren't pairs. So I spent a hundred dollars on one individual 10, one individual 20, and one individual 30. So. Don't make my mistake. Don't overspend on dumbbells. What I ended up doing, because I kind of had come to the fact that I was just never gonna get the dumbbells, so I just kind of forgot about it, and then one day they surprised me, and I was like, oh great, <laughs> not even a pair. But I went on Let Go, which is just, it's kind of like the new Craigslist, but app version for your phone, and much more user-friendly, I would say. This is not sponsored, however, Let Go hit me up, <laughs> please. I was able to find a lot of people selling their dumbbells, Granted, a lot of people are price gouging right now, but I was able to find some for a pretty decent price. Um, Trell helped me figure out the pricing. Basically, you don't want to spend more than like $1.50 per dumbbell. At that point, they are actually just like stealing your money from you. A pair of 10 should be $20, I'm sorry, 20 pounds, $1.50, do the math per each individual pound and calculate it that way. After a lot of searching and a lot of negotiating on let go, I was able to get 10s and 20s, so I'm pretty content with that. So if you are looking for dumbbells and you haven't been able to find them, I'm not surprised. Try checking out Craigslist or let go, and obviously, as usual, if you plan to uh, meet these people in person by yourself. Make sure that it's in a very public location. Don't go into their house. They're dumbbells. They can bring them out to you. Just be safe. So obviously dumbbells have been huge for the fact that I cannot step into a gym right now. Just to kind of toot Built Fierce up a little bit. I wasn't even planning to mention this, but Built Fierce is working on launching just three exciting at-home programs for a really cheap price. You guys know Built Fierce is all about making it as affordable as possible and we recognize what is happening obviously in the world right now it is a pandemic so we wanted to create something that was priced far 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 below its value so you guys are getting so much for your buck next thing i want to talk about is a tv show <laughs> i won't give any spoilers so don't worry but tonight terrell and i just finished binging um, Ozark for all three seasons and I started the show back in 2017 when it first released or maybe 2018 and I kind of started the first few episodes and fell out of it however me and Terrell are both really big fans of Jason Bateman so we decided to start the show from the beginning from scratch together and just got hooked in and I all I'm gonna say is that there's I've never come across a show where each season following gets better. Typically the first season is the strong season and it kind of just slowly but surely starts to trickle off. But this show, I don't know how they did it, but the episode ended and we were just like, 
oh like and that's pretty much how you are after every episode but yeah it's so good so if you are looking for a good binge worthy binge worthy hmm binge worthy you know hour long episodes there's 10 episodes per season each episode is an hour obviously there's no commercials what are commercials i don't even know what that is yeah you're basically following the life of a man who is a financial advisor who also is doing money laundering for a huge uh, Mexican drug cartel. So that's all I'm gonna say. Just watch it, check it out. If you haven't, you're not having the best time that you could be. I guarantee you will just get hooked in episode after episode. Next thing I wanna talk about, I'm gonna just kinda talk about them all together. So first is gonna be the Grande Lash Eyelash Serum. I've talked about this before. I've been a paying customer of this for probably about a year now and then I think I tagged them on Instagram so they got they they found me and now they send me PR which is really awesome. And I was so I was so confused when I, I was like I didn't I didn't order this, but I get these in the mail all the time now which is great cuz I constantly have stock and I'm constantly using it. So I like to use this when I don't have eyelash extensions or specifically right after I take off my eyelash extensions because I am a picker, it's really bad. I don't have trick trick with to main trick Trichotillomania, trichotillomania, trichotillomania. I think that's it. I don't have that. So really, you know, broken, damaged eyelashes. So I started using this. It takes a while to see results. I was using this twice a day, and I think they only said to use it once a day, but I was using it twice a day. Within six weeks, my lashes, like they had transformed, have transformed, but they had transformed. So kind of was the perfect time to stop getting eyelash extensions. So I had I had given my lashes time to heal and kind of be on their own. But if you can, oh, Pog. If you can, get your hands on Grande Lash. I don't know what the shipping situation is, but use this twice a day, once a day, whatever it is you want to do, every single day for six weeks. Whether you have eyelash extensions or not, they're going to make your eyelash extensions last not as long because obviously they're enhancing your lashes and making them longer, but it will also kind of repair any damage that they have. Couldn't recommend this enough. Next, I want to talk about their mascara because I've recently had a lot of people asking me, mainly in my ASMR videos because I'm like this close to the camera, what mascara I have been using and it is also the Grande Drama Intense Thickening Mascara with Castor Oil. I'm not going to lie, didn't want to use this. When I saw this in the mail, I was like, yeah, I mean, you guys are good for like eyelash enhancing, but do I want to use this for mascara? And now thinking about it, that logic didn't make any sense. But I ended up using it because I had ran out of my mascara, it had dried out, and this stuff is so good. It doesn't make your lashes get flaky at any point throughout the day. It's kind of like one of those eight figure spoolies and it separates the lashes really, really nice. I don't know, I feel like this camera is just making my lashes look like any other <laughs> any other pair of lashes, which maybe they are, but I feel like for myself, it, they always look really, really nice. Hi, have you been watching me the whole time? You're so cute. <laughs> Anyway, point is, this has been really nice. I feel like my lashes uh, look even better with it, and I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but I do feel like this is just like supplemental to the Grande Lash Serum, but again, don't quote me on that. I just saw castor oil, I was like, oh, seems like it would be a good thing to pair with it. They're great. And then finally, within that little trio, I have almond shaped eyes, but I also have pretty small eyes, and I also feel that I have a really hard time fitting all of my lashes into an eyelash curler. So when I curl my lashes, I curl all of them except for the ones out here at the end. So when I was at Target, the beginning of all of this chaos, I saw that Tweezer Man has a eyelash curler for almond shaped eyes, and I was like, I think. I think I got almond shaped eyes. I really don't know, but I'm gonna buy this and try it at home and see. And I'm telling you, ever since I got this eyelash curler and I've been able to fit all of my lashes in, I don't have any straight ones out at the end and super curled ones. This was a bit pricey. It might have been like $18. It might have been $15. I don't remember. Haven't had an eyelash curler in so long though. And when I do get one, I don't ever need to buy one again for years. So if you feel like you have almond shaped eyes and you're not able to get all of your lashes into the eyelash curler, look, look for the one that says, almond shaped eyes. I'll probably have a link to this in the description box. Next, if you want to take care of yourself, have a nice nice soothing aromatherapy induced muscle relaxation induced bath, well have I got the thing for you. Dr. Teal's. Wow. 
a long time ago they sent me PR and they were like, if you ever need anything again, hit us up, we got you. I tried, they just read my message. It's fine though, Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt Soaking Solution. I recently picked up the Relax and Relief with Eucalyptus and Spearmint. Supposedly it helps ease aches and soreness from muscle, pain, from muscle pains and relaxes the body and relieves the mind. Yeah, I've only used this once, but oh my God, I was in such heaven. It was the day that my period started. So I just ran like a nice hot bath, poured like a cup and a half of this in there it smells so nice. Terrell said that he feels like it smells like mildewy, like laundry that has been in a washing machine for too long, whereas to me, it smells like eucalyptus and spearmint. So he's a boy, don't listen to him. Listen to me, I know I know what the truth is and this is it. But yeah, I felt so good after. I mean, who knows if aromatherapy like really works, but I like to believe it does and I feel like even just enjoying the fragrance of something can be enough to change your mood even a little bit just because it brings a positive, relaxing feeling. So yeah, huge fan of Epsom salt. Love it so much. Love the way that this smelled. I bought this during the pandemic, Relax and Relief. I was like, I need that. Next, I'm gonna talk about a game. So unfortunately the game I'm showing you guys is closed because if any of you guys know, this is a game that you typically have to throw away after. It is a one-time use. So I bought these right before 12 came and they are called Exit the Game. So it's essentially an escape room in a box. So it's it's so hard to honestly describe. You can kind of see the back here and like the idea behind it. It doesn't look fun when you look at the answer card, help card, riddle card, and this this circular thing. Like I was like, okay, am I making am I making a mistake getting this? But once you start, you get sucked into it. So one thing that's really cool about it is there are different levels to them. So Deadman on the Orient Express is one of the higher ones. It's four out of five from novice to expert. The first one we started with was like two out of five and that was called the sunken ship and it was so fun then the music would like intensify at certain moments it was so good but basically you use everything about the box most likely and you have to tear up cards and throw things away and you have to write on things so typically it's a one use only i don't even think it's typically i think all the time it's a one use only so this is Dead Man on the Orient Express, but when I went on Amazon, there were like dozens on there and other companies that do something similar to this. This game can be played only once because you mark up, fold, and tear the game materials. Oh my god, could not recommend this enough. If you are looking for something to do either by yourself or something to do with your friends or your boyfriend or a sibling or whatever, this is the freaking game. It is so good and we haven't opened this one yet because I just, I don't think we're ready for it. Like I want to get us, I want to get us to the next level. I don't know if we're ready for four out of five. Two out of five was pretty freaking difficult. Do it. They're like 15 bucks. So fun. Definitely one time use only, which sucks, but you don't really want to play it again after that use. Do it, it's, a, it's, it's great. All right, I'm not gonna take too much more of your guys' time. This is gonna be the last product that I'm gonna talk about, but it is from First Aid Beauty. They actually sent me this product. Some of the stuff honestly was sent to me. I'm not being paid to like talk about it or promote it by any means. I'm just talking about it because I love it and I am so grateful for the PR that I receive because I find so many amazing products or you know get refills on things that I already love. So it's it's pretty great. I actually worked with First Aid, First Aid Beauty a while ago, but they sent me their Ultra Repair Cream, and I guess it's like a limited edition because it's in a tub like this. So I was always using First Aid Beauty on my face, and it helped a lot when I had under eyelid eczema, which I don't get as much anymore. But I never knew that they had like a jar, like a tub of it. But I've been using this. To to moisturize my legs and my arms because uh, your girl's getting a little bit, a little, a little ashy. Oh, hello, how did you find me here? Do you live, who do you know here? Yeah, couldn't recommend this stuff enough. I know Charles started using it too and I think something that's really cool about this is it has a skin protectant colloidal oatmeal which will temporarily help relieve minor irritation and itching due to eczema and other conditions. So that's why I was using it for under eyelid eczema because it was the one thing I knew that wouldn't irritate my skin further. But yeah, no parabens, harsh chemicals or colorants. They don't test on animals. They actually release these 
hello, this is actually good to talk about. They're calling it Fab Aid, and they're committed to donating a million dollars to pay off student debt. There was a paper with the exact details. I'll just try to put a link in the description box to show you guys, but I know that this was released to help as a charity cause to students who are in debt. And I feel like committing a million dollars is massive and insane and something that should be respected. I think First Aid Beauty is, is doing a lot right and I really respect them as a brand. So yeah, I wanted to mention them as well because I don't know, since this is limited edition, like I don't know what I'm gonna do when this is gone because now I'm attached. I'm gonna buy like regular size, like tube ones. And I'm gonna keep this jar and sanitize it and just refill it every single time. That's where I'm at in my life right now. All right guys, so that is gonna be it for this monthly favorites video. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, throw it a thumbs up. And this is not just your average monthly favorites. This is this is quarantine. This is self-isolation. This is ultimate loneliness favorites. You know what I mean? Yeah, and do me a favor. Share some of your favorites with me in the comment section down below. I could definitely use a little bit online window shopping or potentially actual shopping. I love you guys so much. Again, thank you for all the freaking support. I'm so grateful for you guys. Don't forget to share your favorites. Okay, I'll see you guys in my next video. This is Bye.